Last week, Cedar Point announced the closure of one of their 17 roller coasters. After 20 seasons, Wicked Twister, the world's first double twisting impulse roller coaster by Intamin, will close on September 6th. This should come to little surprise to many as it's been known for a while that demolition permits were filed back in early 2020 before the global health situation occurred. And this ride has been known to be one of the most expensive to operate versus guest satisfaction and ridership. While Wicked Twister, in my opinion, is a very good ride, a lot of fun, it is one of the weaker rides and will make the least amount of a dent in Cedar Point's excellent collection of roller coasters. So, what does this mean for Wicked Twister first off? And what does it also mean for Cedar Point in the future? We'll talk all about that. But first, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so we can update you as soon as we find out more details of what's next in the world of roller coasters and theme parks. So what is the future for Wicked Twister? Well, on one hand, this ride does take very little space and can be put into numerous locations at other Cedar Fair parks. However, the reason that it's most likely being removed is because of its aging launch system with technology from 20 years ago. And if Cedar Fair does want to move it to another park, they will most likely have to put a lot of money into replacing the launch system with something that's more modern. And why this might actually happen is because if they were to spend the money at Cedar Point, it would bring them very little money back in the way of guest return. But if you put it into one of the other Cedar Fair parks that does not have anything like this, such as Carowinds, Worlds of Fun, even maybe Missions of Adventure, this would be a brand new attraction for the audience and could be worthwhile if the rest of the structure is in good shape. But we also know that from time to time, they've had to weld on those two twisted spikes on the off season. So I'm not going to really miss the ride, especially since Dorney Park has a very similar ride. And perhaps this will allow that ride to operate for a little bit longer. So what does this mean for the future of Cedar Point? More recently, when they have removed the roller coaster, it has only been a year or two before they have replaced it with a brand new one. Now, we do know already that it's most likely not going to be next year. Cedar Fair announced pretty much the highlights of their capital program for 2020 and it does not include anything for Cedar Point. In fact, at this point, it seems the only new ride for the entirety of the Cedar Fair chain is Tumbili at King's Dominion. So let's do a little bit of speculating and guessing what could come next. Now, if they aren't building something next year, this could mean that the whole area around Wicked Twister could be receiving a huge upgrade and renovation. Cedar Point for the last 20 years has really tried to be pushing people over that side of the made midway as it's a huge midway that does not see a lot of traffic like it should with huge attractions like Windseeker and Gatekeeper and Wicked Twister was obviously not doing that. However, maybe something like a classic wooden roller coaster but with a nod to their old cyclone from the back in the 1920s. So if along with the boardwalk that was just renovated a few years ago that now extends all the way from the Cedar Point parking lot up to Hotel Breakers, this could all fit the look and style of a classic wood coaster with modern conveniences from perhaps GCI or even Gravity Group with twists and turns, maybe even an inversion, and of course, plenty of airtime. I do believe the void that was left after Mean Streak was transformed into Steel Vengeance needs to be filled with a second wooden roller coaster. Having 16 roller coasters and only one wood coaster seems like a very uneven ratio. And I also really do believe this is something likely. As we've seen from the very popular Mystic Timbers, that has been a huge success for Kings Island and could be for Cedar Point as well. However, the only problem with a wood coaster right now is that lumber prices are absolutely through the roof. So that might be something that would be delayed for the foreseeable future. Something also to talk about is the fact that I do believe parks will continue to invest in their parks. They're not going to pause like a lot of people speculated they would. I do think that they are going to be a lot more economical with their purchases, though, for the next few years as the industry recovers from the pandemic. However, a very cost-efficient ride 
and a ride that could tickle Cedar Point's fancy for breaking records is a Gerschlaller Infinity Coaster by going for the inversion record that's been held by the Smile Art at Alton Towers since 2013 with 14 inversions. This ride could fit the void that has been left from the old employee dorms by the Cedar Point Marina for the last few years. So the options are numerous. But then there's also wild cards. Cedar Point does love working with B&M, and maybe they could go for a record-breaking flying coaster. Absolutely love to see Cedar Point do, as we seem to have not had any real good flying coasters since Tatsu all the way back in 2006. So that is what I think is the most likely things for Cedar Point to do in the future. But of course, we'll just have to wait and see. And this is just me speculating, of course. And I hope one of these three things comes true in the near future and we can get a new coaster at Cedar Point since it will be at least five years apart since Steel Vengeance opened in 2018. Anyways, this has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.